cryptocurrency is all the rage right now as most of us probably have noticed turn on the news and you see it everywhere and i know i get questions about it all the time whether it's uh you know at a cocktail party over at a friend's house uh, i just tell somebody what i do they start asking questions sometimes it's questions about taxation of crypto sometimes it's about the uh, impact of one's estate plan um, because of the crypto and i was talking with a good friend who's a banker the other day and he resonated the same sentiment, just nonstop questions. And so we start talking about it and, you know, it's this issue of privacy that's so important to people. And I just make the comment real quickly that trust planning is the original crypto. And he was like, what does that mean? And I said, well, because of the privacy. And he says, I, I don't understand. I, I don't follow. Tell me more. And I said, well, you know, to the extent that you have assets in your personal name when you die, those assets have to go through the probate process. And so any information that is part of the probate process is subject to the public domain. Anyone can get their hands on that. Anyone can take a look at that. And he was like, interesting. And so to the extent that assets are titled in the name of a trust, they don't have to go through probate. So a lot of people will use revocable living trust to avoid probate. There's other trust planning that also you can do to pass inheritance to beneficiaries that will avoid probate. So we start talking about it and um, I, I recalled a story early from my career where I got a call from the executor of an estate um, and the executor was like, you know, uh, mom passed away some time ago and before, they passed, before she passed away, she had this business partner who uh, many years ago and the business partner owed mom millions of dollars, but you know, mom didn't really pursue it because the business partner would say, well, I don't, I don't have the money to give you, you know, and mom said, okay, fine. Well, this business partner passes away and the executor who called me said, hey, can you get your hands on that will um, that was going through probate and see you know, what kind of assets this person had in their individual name? I said, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look and see what I can come up with. And before I can call this person back, before I can even look into it, the executor calls me up and says, hey, I got my hands on the will. No need to look into it anymore. And I said, well, you know, I'm just curious. What did you find? And they found that this business partner who allegedly had no money passed away with $30 million in their individual name. And you could see the, you know, the, the listing of the assets on the documents submitted to the probate court so anyway i didn't have anything to do with it after that but it just goes to prove that maybe you live in a small community maybe you are a high profile maybe it could be a variety of different things you have a nosy family um, and you don't want them in your business for whatever reason trust planning helps that it is the original crypto it helps with all privacy issues mm -hmm.